Hey guys, what is up today? I'm gonna play this basic computer basic quiz, and at the same time, I'm gonna teach you what it's all about. So first, what is the software? So instruction to tell the hardware what to do. Flexible part of computer case. Routine design that's completely out of the line. Any part of computer that has a physical. Remember, a software is program. It's a program, right? So what actually it does is it instruct the computer or the hardware what to do. So the answer is this one, I guess. Yep. Which of the following are the of computer hardware? So let's see. Microsoft Windows is an OS. It's a software. Firefox is a software processor which is included in your PC. That means you have to insert it in your PC. That is a hardware. Also a RAM. It's function as a memory. So it is a random access memory, right? So processor is the brain of your computer. And hard drive is like where you store your data, just like a pen drive and all. And keyboard is where you type, you input your data inside a PC. So this all are hardware. And to the next question, the computer main circuit board is called a. So hard drive is not right. Monitor, now that's a screen. Bluetooth card, I don't know why they get this question. So here's the answer is motherboard. So as you can see, that's the big thing you insert everything, all your slot inside the motherboard. That is called as a main circuit board of a computer. So again, which feature is being used in the image? So as you can see here, this is clearly a laptop. So in case you wonder, that's not a mouse actually. We don't call that a mouse. So it's not a camera. That's not a webcam. Not a USB port, not a Wi-Fi, but the answer to this question is a touchpad. So what you need to do is you just touch it. That's why it's called a touchpad. See here, RAM is like a computer dash, while a hard drive is like a dash. So this is a short term, long term memory. So with the moment you turn off your PC, everything stored in RAM it will be deleted but everything stored in the hard drive will stay there so that's why it's a short term and long term memory what is an ethernet port used for so if you look at the back of your computer or, in, or on the side of your laptop you'll see one port that is looking weird which you can insert a hard drive or anything except RJ47 that is called a RJ47 port or ethernet port where it is used to connect internet to your PC but nowadays we have Wi-Fi right and talking about Wi-Fi what is a Wi-Fi it is not a server it's not a software that scan viruses that's called antivirus it's not a type of sound card either but it's, it is a wireless network the full form of Wi-Fi is wireless fidelity so that's Wi-Fi because there is no wire needed on to the next question Windows, Mac, OS and Linux are the example of it's clearly not a web browser it's clearly not a mobile device and it's clearly not an internet service provider so it is known as the operating system which you install so that your PC can function and to the next question what does GUI stand for? I think you heard of the word GUI. See back in the days, there's only Linux, which is not a GUI where you have to run using a command line, right? Like uh, if I say in Windows, it'll be a ROM or a shell. But the full form of GUI is a graphical user interface that is a GUI, not good UI for. You can say that too, but that's not what it means, right? the computer term so 9 out of 10 not so good actually true or far you cannot get a computer virus if you install antivirus somewhere this is i'll give you a guess can you please answer it in the comment down below and i'll explain to you why it is what it is you answer 
So with that, thank you so much for watching and have fun.